Hi lovelies, you're welcome to another mind-blowing video. As you all know, I always bring to you a healthier version of every recipe. What if I show you a healthier way to make puff puff that will wow your family? It is school resumption and it is time for parents to worry about breakfast ideas or snack ideas. So stay tuned, let me show you my version of puff puff with a twist and a healthier one for that matter. Are you ready? Let's dive in. In a bowl, add in one cup of warm water and one cup of warm milk. Then come in with a tablespoon of instant yeast and half a cup of sugar. We equally add in a pinch of salt. You know, when using yeast, it is always advisable to use warm water and warm milk because it will create an environment for the yeast to work well and faster so we give this a good mix and then we come in with three cups of all-purpose flour please give this video a like it is so so important hit the like button below thank you we add in a teaspoon of cinnamon powder you can choose to use any flavor of your choice like nutmeg or vanilla flavor and so using a whisk we gently combine all these ingredients together to form a batter if it's your first time stopping by here you're most welcome hit the subscribe button below to join this beautiful community where we share amazing recipes health tips and diys so we keep mixing till we achieve this consistency and then we come in with a cup of chopped carrots some red bell peppers as well as some green bell peppers oh yes this is the twist we are giving to this recipe loading it with lots of vegetables to make it healthier for children and adults so we mix very well to incorporate the vegetables into the batter with an addition of vegetables and milk into our puff puff we are sure our children are having a balanced meal for breakfast or we are sure our children are heading to school with a healthy snack. So we clean around and then using a clean film, we cover the puff puff. And at this point, we are to leave it to rise for about 30 to 35 minutes. Have you liked this video? Please give this video a like if you haven't yet. And let me know in the comment section. Will you be trying this version of puff puff? So we cover our puff puff properly and we leave it to rise. And after 30 minutes, this is what we have. Look at the evidence of active yeast. So we gently take out the clean film and then we go in with a spatula and we gently mix the batter to take out the air. So you just keep mixing till you are able to take out all the excess air in the batter. And at this point, it's time to fry. So we proceed to heat up some oil for deep frying. And to scoop our batter, we will be using an ice cream scoop. Feel free to use your hands or a spoon. So we gently scoop the batter and drop in hot oil, as simple as that. So we keep scooping and dropping till we are able to fill the pan. You know this theory of do not overcrowd the pan? That theory doesn't work on puff puff. If you don't add it enough to cover the surface of the oil, you are going to flip from today till the kingdom come and puff puff will refuse to flip to the other side. So when frying your puff puff, always add in enough to fill the top of the pan so that it will be easy for you to flip around. Have you struggled with flipping puff puff? If so, then leave a comment in the comment section. I wish to know your experience. So we are frying on a medium heat and it takes about 8 to 10 minutes to fry each batch. And once they turn golden brown, you flip and equally fry on the other side till they have a uniform golden brown and beautiful color.
and it's time for us to take it out of the oil. Look at that. Can you see how beautiful our puff puff is looking? So we take it out of the oil and place on an absorbent paper towel to drain out any excess oil. See how inviting our puff puff is looking. So we just keep repeating the process till we are able to fry all the butter. And we are done frying our healthy puff puff. Take a look at that. Isn't this inviting? Isn't this colorful? Isn't this so, so delicious? Let's see how the inside looks like. Look at that. So, so colorful, flavorful, and delicious. Tell me in the comment section, will you be giving this a try? And what would you like to have this puff puff with? You can choose to have it as a breakfast or as a snack but for today we will be having this for breakfast with some pap if you've watched up to this extent i want to take this time to appreciate you thanks so much for the support stay blessed and i'll see you in my next video bye bye